Welcome to Storytime with Nana Pam. Hi everyone, it's Nana Pam. Today I'm reading the book, Twas the Night Before Thanksgiving. Story and pictures by Dad Pilkey. If you enjoyed today's story, please like and subscribe to my channel. Let's get reading. Twas the day before Thanksgiving and all through the trees, the fall leaves were spinning aloft in the breeze. Eight children had boarded their school bus with grins in hopes that a field trip soon would begin. They sing as they rode through autumn terrains while visions of drumsticks danced in their brains. Over the rivers and through the woods with winding and weaves, their school bus sailed on through the new fallen leaves. When out on the road, there arose such a clatter, they threw down their windows to see what was the matter. When what to their wondering eyes should they see but a miniature farm and eight tiny turkeys. And a little old man, so lively and rugged, they knew in a moment it was Farmer McNugget. He was dressed all in denim from his head to his toe with a pinch of polyester and a dash of Velcro. And then in a twinkling, they heard in the straw the prancing and pawing of each little claw. More rapid than chickens, his cockerels they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Ollie, now Stanley, now Larry and Mo, on Wally, a beaver, on Shemp and Groucho. The turkeys were chunky with smiley beak faces and they greeted the children with downy embraces. So out through the barnyard they ran and they flew and they gobbled and giggled as friends sometimes do. Then someone spotted an ax by the door and she asked Farmer Nugget what it was for. With a blink of his eye and a twist of his head, the old farmer told a grim tale of dread. Tonight, said McNugget, these feathery beasts will be chopped up and roasted for Thanksgiving feast. The children stood still as tears filled their eyes. Then they clamored around in a chorus of cries. Oh dear, cried McNugget. What shall we do? So he dashed to the well and the teacher went too. And they fetched some water fresh from the ground in hopes that a swig might calm everyone down. And when they returned to quiet the matter, the children were calmer and mysteriously fatter. The boys and girls drank up their drinks in the hay, then thanked old McNugget and waddled away. They limped to the school bus all huffing and puffing. It's not easy to walk with hot turkey stuffing. Then, as the school bus drove off in the night, Mac Nugget looked around. Not a turkey in sight! Twas the night before Thanksgiving, and the stars up above shone down on a school bus abounding with love. The very next evening, eight families were blessed with eight fluffy Thanksgiving turkeys as guests. They feasted on veggies with jelly and toast, and everyone was thankful. The turkeys were most. So each one gave thanks for love and for living, and they all had a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoyed today's story. Until next time, Nana Pam is sending you big hugs. Have a great day.